was a party for my husband's business, dress business, you know, sportswear. A lot of models were there and buyers, a very lively crowd. I really enjoy those parties. It's a lot of work, God knows, but I don't mind. I know how to have a good time now without, you know, having a good time. I mean, there's whiskey, of course, but uh, most of my friends know I'm an alcoholic, so they don't say anything, even when I'm toasting with ginger ale. <laughs> Sometimes a newcomer says, hey, what are you, a teetotaler? And I say, nope. I'm an alcoholic. They laugh and say what a card I am. Anyway, uh, I don't know how it started. The feeling, I mean. It wasn't even near the bar. It was in the kitchen. My mouth started to go very dry, and uh, I started getting dizzy. I'd been without for um, six years. Can you imagine? Then my eyes started to itch. That was always a sure sign. The doctors could never explain that. I guess there's a lot they can explain, but to me it was a signal. I knew I was that close. I ran upstairs. I don't know how I made it, but I did. It's where I keep my phone book. I called Florence here. She came over and got me. We talked all night. I really was so panicked. Well, I hadn't told Sam I was leaving. He was furious. <laughs> Thought I'd slipped out with one of the cloak and suitors. <laughs> it really was kind of funny, I guess. That's all. Anybody else? Well, it's almost 11 o'clock, and, well, me? I'm going home tonight. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nobody tops my exit, so uh, let's call it a night. Wait a minute. Well, here's a newcomer. Come in, brother, and identify yourself. 